All right, we all know to read the fine print before we sign or agree to anything, but really, do you really do it? Today, we're going to learn about the hidden costs of reward cards and get advice on how to avoid the pitfalls. Dancing is a form of expression, and for many children, it's an opportunity to develop self-esteem. We'll introduce you to a ballet teacher helping kids dance their way to success. Plus, we learn some of the other benefits of moving to the beat. You see them in bloom all over Delmarva, right? About now, the buds are starting to fall. Now, today, we're going to learn how to prepare our crepe myrtles before the temperatures drop and why now is the perfect time to plant one. And speaking of getting ready for fall, people are busy harvesting all across the Delmarva Peninsula. So if you ever thought about canning, now's the perfect time to learn. Coming up, we find out how this hobby can actually be the perfect gateway to bonding. Gluten-free diet still a hot trend, and whether you need to do it because of medical reasons or just because you want to lose some weight, is it really a safe alternative? We're going to find out if gluten-free is just a fad, or it's as fabulous as everybody says. Another food alternative, going vegan. What it actually means, what foods are included, and a tasty recipe that just may have you changing your diet. And the state of Delaware is rich in auto racing history, as is the entire Delmarva Peninsula. How one museum is bringing it all back to life. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Delmarva Life in the Sports Studio D. Well, we got through it. Got through it. The first day of school. Most did. Well, I I, I, I'm talking about me. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm not talking about everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was a first day of school for many schools on Delmarva, including in Caroline County. Take a look at this picture. This probably sums up why educators Check. choose the field. This is a young student getting off the bus at Preston Elementary School. She gives a big hug to Principal Lois McCoy. Isn't that wonderful? There's, there's your paycheck right there. Yeah. You get, you get paid as well, but you, there's your paycheck. If only they could have that enthusiasm all the way through college. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to work on that one. Yeah, that we'll would be work awesome on that though. one. And and you know what? Everyone, no, well, most people take pictures of their kids on the mm -hmm. first day of yeah. school. I did up until yesterday, but <laughs> but uh, we would like to see your pictures. Send them to us. Uh, you can uh, send them to us in an email mm -hmm. at comments mm -hmm. at delmarvalife.com. You can go to our Facebook. We yeah. want to see those first day of pic Love school pictures, Saw and we'll try to already, yeah. put them on the show. Yeah. Be sure to send them in. Uh, the Pocomo City Police Department making sure that area students have the supplies that they need for this school year. The department held its annual back to school events. Here he is. You probably recognize mm -hmm. that man, Pocomo City Police Chief Kelvin Sewell, and one of the students. Um, in this particular picture yeah. right there, Councilman Clark hands a bag of kindergarten supplies to a little guy who's going to be starting school for the first time this week. Mm. How awesome is that? Uh, it supplies everything from notebooks, paper pens, pencils, crayons, and selections were made from kindergarten through the eighth grade. Yeah, I love getting school supplies. I, yeah. What was your favorite? Do you remember? Which? I, I think I always liked having that fresh new spiral notebook. Spiral notebook? Nothing okay. written yeah. in it. Yeah, and pens. I, I, was, I was pencil. I was a pencil guy. You're a pencil guy? I don't know why. Real pencils or mechanical pencils? Real pencils. Okay. It's got to be something you grind all the way down to the metal piece <laughs> before you get to the eraser. Yeah. That's got to be the pencil. But uh, love back to school. And we want to say congratulations to St. Mary's College of Maryland varsity sailing coach Adam Warblow. There he is in a whaler. He's to be honored by the MRYC Foundation at an awards dinner next month as America's, get this, most successful collegiate sailing coach. How about that? The head varsity sailing coach at St. Mary's College of Maryland is completing his 25th season at St. Mary's with 15 national titles against the best sailing teams in the country. Mm. This year's third awards dinner will be held at the Miles River Yacht Club in St. Michael's. You need to make reservations if you want to go. Yeah, you got to get that in. By the way, while we're talking about the MRYC Foundation, the Miles River Yacht Club Foundation, they are looking for grant applications. If you have a nonprofit organization that promotes youth-oriented competitive sailing, rowing, and swimming, as well as maritime focused educational activities in the Chesapeake Bay area, uh, there could be some money waiting for you. You can write the MRYC Foundation for grant application. There's the address, 606A North Talbot Street, Suite 115 in St. Michael's, 21663. You've got to have your application in by October 15th. If you want to find out more about it, just go to our website, demarvelife.com. Uh, so far, the donation has granted over uh, almost $84,000 to nonprofit organizations for everything from scholarships to equipment to boats to operating, mm. all kinds of things. So if you're looking for some money to help out your program, there you there go. There you go. This, I love this. Absolutely love it. First off, because this man is being recognized for over 40 years in service, um, in uniform, Maryland State uniform uh, troopers, Sergeant Vernon Lee Love 
is turning in his Stetson. Uh, he has been assigned to the Eastern Barracks as a duty officer and supervisor since 2006. Now, uh, he, he shared a couple of his favorite stories. Absolutely love these. Apparently, you know Sergeant Vernon Love, even if you don't know. Uh, he, apparently, years ago, when he stopped a car for a traffic violation on Route 50, the driver immediately starts saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm a good friend of Sergeant Love, and he can vouch for how good a driver I am. <laughs> <laughs> this one is even more of my favorites. It wasn't too long ago, just before his retirement, he pulled over a young girl. She was 16 years old. First time that she'd been pulled over for a, a speeding citation. Wrote it up, handed it to her. She looked at it, looked at his name, looked at him, and said this. You gave my dad his first citation when he was 16. <laughs> Keep it up the tradition. How awesome is that? <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Well, we have some great news from the North. The National Guard says Delaware City's 153rd Military Police Company will return home from Afghanistan some six to eight weeks early. Woohoo! I know there's a lot of happy families. Yeah, the no units kidding. have spent the past six and a half months on the western side of Kandahar working with the local Afghan uniform police. The unit was supposed to spend nine full months in Afghanistan. Relatives have been notified by letter, but emphasize that mid-September date, eh, kind of tentative, but still, right. that's exciting. You don't hear that often. No, that's good stuff. Welcome home. Yeah, Glad absolutely. to have you back. I want to say congratulations to the Skip Jack pageant winners. Take a look at this picture here. Um, from the left, you've got 2012 Little Miss Brooke Benton, 2013, uh, 2013 Little Miss Mackenzie Muir. Uh, next to her is the 2013 Miss Shelby Bosman. The 2012 Miss Lillian East is next to her. Keep going one more. The 2013 Master, Colby Gray. And the 2012 Master, Dalton Tyler. And finally, the 2013 Miss Skipjack Pageant at Deal Island Elementary School. Congratulations to all of you. Great job. Well done. I love the boys' hats. Those are adorable. <laughs> they make them look good, don't they? Yeah. Well, we repeatedly warn you not to get behind the wheel when you're sleepy. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yeah. Here's why. Take a look. <laughs> at little Jonah, sleep driving. Uh, no. <laughs> Jonah, wake up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted, I wanted you to hear the music. The music oh starts. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he, uh, Look at him. When he starts, the music starts. Isn't that oh, funny? He I just, what a day. You know, that's how I feel some days after work. <laughs> <laughs> now we know how it happens. We teach yeah, them young. We teach them young. That's what happens. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, dancing for success. How an extraordinary ballet class is teaching life skills and giving students the opportunity of a lifetime. Plus how you can instill important life lessons in your little one too. Studies show companies send out almost a billion credit card offers in the mail promising a rewarding offer. Our friends from Sussex County Federal Credit Union are here to help us determine if those rewards cards are worth our time and money. And living on Delmarva, there's always an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables this time of year. Don't you wish you could keep them around all year long? Well, one way to preserve Delmarva Farm goodness is canning. We learn some canning basics and find out why it can be a fun family time, too. And while we're talking food, you may have heard of a vegan diet, but you really don't know what it is. Well, we're going to learn more about it and even make a tasty vegan dish. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 